Yes, we're here in the frozen north. That's that's where we are. We're in Canada, eh? Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're in my shop here. You, the viewer, me, Mitch, operating the cameras. We're back on, on Tiger Cub. There's a Tiger Cub right behind me here. And today we're gonna work on the brake pedal. I have three brake pedals here. Look at this fine piece. What a abomination this is. Anyway, I guess somebody, you know, put some effort into it and cobbled it together out of whatever. So I've got a nice piece of metal here. It's one quarter by three and a half. It's cold rolled. We're gonna make a brake pedal out of that. So that's the plan for today. In the meantime, what's new? I want to show you what's new in my shop. I have something over here. My friend Mike, I've known him since he took Frame Building 101. He made me an Excelsior lamp. Very nice. Mike has a YouTube channel. He's a real smart guy. And so I think that uh, Mitch is going to show you the link. And he, he has a video on how he made this lamp. So it's an Excelsior head, it's a rear head. It was one of the ones that was extra to me. So thank you, Mike, that was a very nice Christmas present. All right, so the brake pedal, let's see what we can do here. I went down to my local cycle salvage shop, it's called Super Sport, and I got a brake rod. This was the only one that he had in the shop. He, had, he used to have a whole bunch of these, but they don't sell now, so they all went to recycling. That's the problem working on all the bikes now. It's getting harder and harder to find parts. So this is off an 04 Honda 600 Shadow, I believe. So I don't, I'm not gonna use all this, but I'll, I'll definitely use this part of the brake rod. Got some nice tubing here. I got some bronze. These ones here have no bronze bushing. So it's just metal on metal, steel on steel. So we're gonna add a bronze bushing. There's a light that has to go in there at some point. But I think the first thing to do is to put on the foot peg rubbers because the pedal has to rest underneath. This is just a little bit of hand cleaner. Nothing high tech. And then it just dries up. So this piece here goes into that hole there and this is where the pivot is for the brake lever. Yeah, like that. So you can see what's going on here. Oh, I see why they bent it. See that? That's, I don't think that's a stock bend. That looks terrible. But when you put it on, that's about the right space there. So what we have to do now is to make up uh, a tube here, a tube, and the tube's going to be made out of this piece of tubing. It's seamless, it, it's DOM, and then there's a, a bushing that's going to go inside there. So one of the first things we can do is to machine this down a little bit. Make it the same length as the shaft there. So what also I want to show you is this. I don't like that, but we have to choose one of these and which one's better. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bead blast both of these and then we can see what they look like a little better. So we'll just pop over to the bead blaster right now. I think I like this one better. That's what I think. It's the pad on the worst pedal. Let's use that one because this, this pedal is awful. 
Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, that's my new pad. Okay, this is the tube which becomes the part of the brake lever and it gets welded into that into that plate and then the bushing goes inside here. Okay, we have a tube, so let's go and work on a shape now. So if we drill a hole right, right there, something like that. That's where that will go. And then I can trace around that. That doesn't work, does it? No. This needs to be level. I don't I don't think my foot ever goes like that. If anything it goes a little little bit down. This is too high. And it's kind of awkward to have a stop here with a bolt that comes onto the rubber peg. It's better just to make it right from the start. This is approximately level like that. Okay, so that'll go like that. It's going to need a bend somewhere, so I think we'll have this almost out to the edge there. Then it has to bend here because it has to come under the peg, and right now it's hitting on the actual metal here. I think that's the bend area. Oh, yes! So we have to let that cool a little bit and then we'll see how it fits on the bike. And then I probably have to make an, another bend here to get this piece in line. See how this is at an angle? I want that to be straight up and down. So we have to give this a little bit of a twist. Bit of a funny kink in it. I, don't, I guess I don't know if you really get to notice that on the bike or not. Yes, we're here in the frozen north. That's that's where we are. We're in Canada, eh? Can you see how that's a funny shape? That's not not exactly what I had in mind, but. 
I've got an un unbending machine here. That's, this is what I'm going to call this, and we'll, we'll, we'll take out the bend. It's like starting all over again. That looks nice. All right, we're trying a different method now. Maybe I won't use heat. This has already had some heat in it. Not that that makes any difference, but let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a curve to it. That's a lot nicer, a lot nicer than last time. So it's good to work with steel. Steel's pretty good stuff. Okay, I'm glad we fixed that up a bit because that's that would bug me if I had that weird shape in there. So this is much better. I don't have the right size reamer. I got 437 and the shaft is 4335. So we're under by 3000. So what I can do is to increase the OD so it gets more of a press fit and then it shrinks the ID. It's kind of a gamble how well this works out. So. I'm going to do something which you almost never see me do. I'm going to part off in the lathe. I know you think I always use a hacksaw. So you see that it fits on there right now, but it's a little bit loose. Can you see that move? So what I'm hoping is that when I, I press this in to the brake lever, that the fit becomes really good. And if it's not that good, I can sand the inside just a touch. Let's go to the arbor press. So, no, oh, it's, it's got some press. Oh yes, definitely got some press to it. So And then that's going to go like that. Super. If I take out a little bit of metal right there and right there, that's going to fit on there quite nicely. Okay, I'm happy with that. If 
I was thinking of using this piece here because it's that's hard to bend just like that. If I was to cut this piece off about here and weld it on to there, that might work. Should we try that? Okay. I sent Mitch out for more coffee, and while he was gone, I did some work on the bike. So let's have a look at what happened. I worked on the on the brake pedal. I welded this up. I made a little piece here. This has to be silver soldered in. I don't have a spring. Well, I've got springs here. There's nothing that's suitable. What's going to happen is the spring is going to get held somewhere here and speaking of this I'm not very happy with this at all this is I altered the other side to hold the exhaust and I like that this is almost in the way all this big thing here has to hold is a spring and a brake light switch what's supposed to happen is that's where the foot peg supposed to go for the passenger if I put this in can you see how it angles down it's terrible, so I might have to redo this. It's not going to happen in this episode for sure. I made this yesterday. I took a piece of, uh, of cold roll, half by half. I like it. It's kind of nice. A little bit of flux. And we'll get some flux down here. So a lot of heat's going to go into the abutment of the boss, whatever we're, we're calling it. If I heat it up, we'll see if it comes through. That would be perfect. I'm a little sloppy with the rod today. And I'm supposed to have a spring here, but I won't put that in right now. We're just gonna we'll put on this nut. I'm gonna make a fancy one. I don't like this. It's off a Honda after all. So let's see what happens. This is the first time the brake's getting used. Oh, it does spring back. Look at that. It's got a spring inside there for the shoes. It's not coming back all the way, but I am going to have an extra spring here. And I, I want that in line. And I think this is going to get, this is going to get modified. This is, don't like it. Okay, so there's the brake. We have an almost operational brake on the Tiger Cub. Thanks for watching. That was a pretty neat project. I, I liked it. it. Took a lot longer than I ever thought. Mitch and I like coffee. If you buy us coffees, much appreciated. See you next week. I also got the side stand mounted. And that turned out quite nice. Look at this. There's almost zero slop. I use chain lube. I use Loctite on the thread. And then when it was assembled, I, I gave it a shot of, of chain lube because that goes right in.